Hello everyone, it's Monday morning. Thankfully it's not as hot as yesterday. Today's plan is to go to Whitley Bay. Um, they have quite a few charity shops at Whitley Bay. So I'm going to strap you onto my backpack again and show you what I got. See you soon. So I thought I might try something a little bit different in this video and do some voiceover just to explain why I picked the things up that I did and why I left the things that I did. So this was the first shop, I think it was a YMCA and they had a little Christmas section already which seems insane to me but as we know there are crazy people who buy Christmas stuff in July. And this was the first thing I picked up which was a crystal vase and it still had the sticker on. It was only 50 pence. You can't say no to a bit of crystal for 50 pence, can you? And this is a West German jug. I believe that's called drip glaze. But I just really like the colours and the shape was really unusual, so I picked that up as well. And I was looking at that little wooden box there. I thought it was a jewellery box. But when I picked it up, it was just a very lightweight, empty box. It must have had something in there previously. So I just put that back down, which was disappointing. And just had one last look along the row. But in the end, I only ended up picking up the jug and the crystal vase. I really like that figurine, it was like a heavy brass statue, but it was £8. And you know it would kill me to spend £8 on anything. So that went straight back on the shelf. And that was it for the first shop. Bought two things, broke the seal. <laughs> this was a really expensive cabinet. I would have bought that cutlery if it was cheap enough, but it was around £10. So this was the second shop. I'm trying not to buy glassware because the packing involved is just too much at this point. <laughs> I'm trying to buy things that are easy to pack because then I'm more likely to list them quickly. That was a cute donkey planter, but again, it was big and I'm trying not to buy big things. Purely for the packing. Oh. 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 I'm just, I don't know, mashing things in tiny If you know what that thing is for, just pop a comment down below. I have absolutely no idea. It was pretty, but it was three pounds, so just left it where it was. We walk as if probably from the other side, the other end, towards the castle, and you were at the castle and further up, you know, the other end. But yeah, you walk all along the cliffs if you go across them and all that, it's lovely right. along there. And you walk up to the castle and you walk round as you go up the hill. So I picked up that basket, it was adorable. Those pimpernels were £5, so I just left them. That's too high for me. Those round, circular pimpernel placemats do sell better than the rectangular ones, but at £5, it's just not worth it for me. You'll see I had a quick look at the games there. The only game that I really know that has any value because of Dave's group, thank you Dave, Avernus Biker Lifestyle, is the question of sport game. It wasn't there, so swiftly moved on to the jewellery. Picked this gorgeous green necklace up, it was only a pound, so of course I took that. And round the corner here I pick up another three-stranded vintage necklace for another pound. Uh -huh. 
I really like this piece and I think I maybe should have got it but I wasn't sure it was only two pounds if it was a pound I would have snapped it up but I just wasn't sure for two pounds so they decided to start playing music really loud at this point so I am going to have to talk over this whole section I'm sorry <laughs> I picked up these placemats I like that it had the little stand and the placemats are a nautical theme they're not a particular brand that I could see and they were three pounds so I was hesitant because you know I'm cheap but for three pounds I just picked them up everything else was so cheap that day that I figured it would all even itself out in the end and after this I headed over to the DVDs there's only one re DVD that I really look for and that's the most haunted DVDs. DVDs aren't my area of expertise. I don't know a lot about them. I only look for the most haunted DVDs because I saw in a video of Nick and Andrea Hills that they did quite well selling most haunted. So if I see them, I'll just pick them up and create a little bundle. Or if you get some of the earlier series or some of their live shows, they can be worth a little bit more. So especially if you're only paying 50 pence or a pound for a DVD, it's worth picking up. And I did happen to find one today. 50 pence, series 11, I believe. So I picked that up as well. And that was all I got at this shop. So not a bad little haul. Just had a last little quick look to check I hadn't left any more Most Haunted DVDs behind, but there were no more. So, on to the next shop. Hmm. Spacious. This was a massive shop and I had high expectations when I walked in, but everything was so overpriced. Those little spoons in the box were £7.50, they weren't complete and it was crazy stained. If it was a pound I would have picked it up, but £7.50 was absolutely ridiculous. So I put that down. It was one of those shops where there's lots of stuff but nothing that you want to pick up, unfortunately. But you win some, you lose some. And here we ended up finding another Most Haunted DVD, so I picked that up. And that was my only pickup in this shop, it was a pound. So, straight on to the next. Mugs, mugs, mugs. Mugs, mugs, mugs. I've got some of them already. And this was really cute. I love the oriental design. It was really shimmery and metallic and it still had the sticker on. It was only a pound so I picked that up. This was quite lightweight. It didn't really appeal as much as the other one. So I popped that one back down. And there was a Disney piglet mug here. It was only a pound, but it was really faded. All of the design was coming away. Normally I'd pick up a Disney mug for a pound, but it was in really bad condition and I wasn't sure whether Piglet would be a popular character. And this here was a really heavy cast iron piece. It was only two pounds and I loved the colour, the bright yellow, really unusual. 
so of course I picked that one up as well. Just these. Oh, Are you able to hold my back? Of course, yeah. Really dropping it. <laughs> In the glass cabinet I spotted this little glass fish. I absolutely love the brown glass. So I picked that straight up. And that was the last thing from that shop, so on to the next. Not many good stuff. Not many good stuff. Yeah. We are now open Saturday, it's ten till four. Four customers. Oh, that's a nice vase. It's a nice elephant. Should be fine. There's only one person. Sanitization. They're nice. Nice teapots. Well, that's that. I think I was telling you about the summer, summer. Oh yes, Somalia or something. Summer, oh, I can't remember. Summer, summer. The word I'm looking for is summer, so I'll pop that up on the screen. I saw the crazy lamp lady pick up a vase like that, and she described it as a summer so vase, which is where you have the colour inside the vase, which appears to be floating. The sexes. Oh, it's a big one. It's a cute little dish. Ainsley. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby sauce. Oh, and the bear's just blocking me. <laughs> 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 I was looking at puffy the other way. I know. Got a bit of paint on the oh, okay. Retro. Hey, what was that rain like this morning? Oh, bouncing. It's <laughs> <laughs> sooty. Sooty's in the bottom of there. I need sooty out of the bottom of here. Sooty. Where is he? He's in the bottom of here. <laughs> Look, there he is. Oh, he's got his wand that's a bit bent. <laughs> his wand's a bit bent. Limited 2010. He's free. Oh, oh that's Zippy. Oh, Zippy. Oh, it looks like we're the same person. Oh. Rainbow. Oh, and the other one, what's his name? George. George. Zippy and George. How cool. Look at that one. <laughs> Minions. It's my truck. Oh, must be sweet, surely. Yeah, that's Mrs. Happy. Mrs. Happy. Mm -hmm. I think they're a little bit more popular now than Miss Men's Care Bear. Because there was a Mr. Men documentary or something. Oh, right. Yeah, there was the other week. Mm -hmm. that down there. <laughs> Barney. <laughs> oh, no. Barney, Barney. Barney. Barney, soft toy. Barney. Barnaby's my name. Oh, I think that's it. We All going on here in the kitchen place. Yeah, isn't it? Dad wouldn't know where I am. Oh, there's a guns. 
Lamaze. Lamaze. That's what they say in the American programs, isn't it? Lamaze. Of course, it's not good. Well, quite a while there. Uh, yeah. Froggies. He's got his little heart. Oh. Frog ornament. Not a word. It's a little bit manly, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's just like what, what you've been brought up with. Yeah. Nice. And this is the last shop I headed to that day. It's a cancer research shop, but it's normally really, really expensive. I picked that up for a pound. It was adorable. And I spotted that jewellery box at the bottom. But it turned out to be eight pounds, which I couldn't spend. That little hook was three pounds, which I also thought was a bit much. So I left both of those things, unfortunately. And up top there's some pimpernels, some coasters and some place mats which were quite reasonably priced. So I picked those up. And that's everything. See you at home. I am back home and I bought too much stuff as usual. <laughs> but I didn't spend very much so I think that makes it okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to go through what I bought and what I paid for it and I've had a quick look up of everything so I can give you an idea of what it should sell for but if you keep an eye on my what sold videos which I know aren't as exciting as the sourcing videos but they are useful to see what's actually sold and how much it's actually sold for but I can give you an idea today so let's get started and the first thing I've got my little research as usual <laughs> so the first thing is this gorgeous vase and I mentioned in the video that this style of vase I recently learned from the crazy lamp lady who picks up all this sort of stuff on YouTube over in America that this is called Submerso and it's kind of where you have the color that's floating inside the vase and there was a designer I believe of the Murano glass sort who made this if I'm wrong, tell me, but that's just what the crazy lamp lady said. So if nothing else, it's a great keyword in your listing, Submerso vase. It's really heavy. It was only £1.50 and I'm going to list this for £20 because it's beautiful. It's a gorgeous colour. And sticking with the blue theme, this I paid a pound for. It's a studio pottery vase, super cute design. It's by Wellhouse Pottery and this will probably only sell for up to £10, which is a shame because it's really pretty. But still, it'll be a profit for it from a pound. Next you will have seen that I went a bit mad on the plushies. And I normally don't buy plushies because they tend to stick around for a while unless they're like specific popular ones. But these I couldn't resist because they are from my era and it's all the cartoons I used to watch when I was a kid. So, Sooty. <laughs> and we used to watch Sooty when I was little over and over again. We must have had the same video. And I don't know if you used to watch Sooty or if your kids used to watch Sooty. But there was an episode with Duncan Goodhue, who was the, <laughs> who was the Olympic swimmer at the time. <laughs> and I just remember, I will never, ever forget that, ever. Duncan Goodhue's name will be forever scorched on my brain from watching Sooty over and over as a kid and I also learned off Sooty or was it Sue the little panda always check the temperature before you get in the bath and I will never ever forget that so thank you Sooty anyway I paid a pound <laughs> I paid a pound for all of these plushies each it's probably a bit more than I should have paid um they're all White House leisure plushies but they've all got their tags which is good if I had sweep that would have been better to put them together um this should probably sell for six to ten pounds. I'll pop them on for ten and accept offers. But he's adorable. Next, Zippy and George, of course. And these are the best out of the bunch. So these were a pound each again. Um, I should expect to get 
around 15 for the pair or that's what i'll list them for um a pair sold for 13 pound 60 plus an extortionate postage of around five pounds 50. i don't know how they were posting them some sort of special airmail or something but yeah i think 15 pounds is realistic for those two and these three nothing special really up to five pounds each on these um so i'll just list them at a fiver and take offers to get those gone again this is little miss sunshine chia bear i believe barney the dinosaur so yeah i don't normally buy plushies but i couldn't resist couldn't help myself oh it's my tape measure <laughs> i'll just reel it back in <laughs> interrupting the show in the toy box for a pound i got this furby and he's not very well i had a furby when i was little when they were all the rage and my mom had to queue up at argos for hours on end to get him and it did the same as this which is sleep all of the time it's like my spirit animal it's constantly tired he doesn't wake up I've taken the batteries out, I've put new batteries in, I've reset him and once you reset him he'll work for about a minute and then he just sleeps all the time. So there's something wrong with him. There was a little bit of corrosion under here, nothing in the in the battery compartment itself but a little bit of staining down here so I don't know if he's got some problem with his insides but I'll just list him as that, he was only a pound or I might just keep him. <laughs> but he's one of the crystal editions 2012. So I'll just pop them on for a tenner. And I'm sure someone can tinker on with him, but I just don't have the patience for that kind of thing. He's still snoring. <laughs> Got that day with this pause and this jug. And this was about 50 pence and this was mm, £1.50. And the vase has its little sticker. Z it says Zajika. I think that's how you say it. Zajikar crystal, 24% lead. It's nothing special, to be honest. Um, I'll be lucky to get around £6 for that. But sometimes you just need to buy something to get yourself in the swing of buying something. <laughs> That's my excuse. And I also picked up this gorgeous vase. Now, I love these vases. They are so beautiful. But they're just not very popular and they don't sell for very much. I shouldn't have bought it, but I just can't resist got gorgeous raised flowers it's a beautiful shape it's in germany and usually they'll say west german these ones but this one's german and i did a google lens search and somebody has the exact same one and it still has the original sticker which says jasper j-a-s-b-a -A, jasper ceramics from germany who stopped production in the 70s they were from the 20s to the 70s um, so this one doesn't have the sticker on anymore, but it's the exact same one as that other one that I found. So I may just list it as Jasper Ceramics and just explain that there's no sticker, but show the marks on the bottom. Unfortunately, these only sell for around £10. Um, so I'll just, I'll maybe list it for 13 and take offers. It's such a shame because it's so beautiful. But never mind. Another shop, I picked up this gorgeous vase because I love the oriental designs. Gorgeous black with it's like a metallic, it's a hummingbird. It's got its sticker on the top, Chokan art 24 karat gold. And for this, I should get around 10 pounds. I paid one, so not bad. That should look gorgeous in the photographs. I also picked up this fabulous, heavy. Mm, spice rack it's gorgeous retro yellow paid two pounds and i think this was probably one of the best buys of the day um there's not that many listed but there's a lot sold which is always a good thing so there was a couple sold this week and there was a yellow one sold last week for 28 pounds 99 which is good news for me so i paid two pound for that i'll just list it at 28 pound 99 like that person did and Hopefully it should sell pretty quickly. 
the one thing I'm learning to do is list stuff at what it's actually worth, which sounds obvious. But there's two main ways really that you can go about eBay. And that is you can set anything to the price that you want it. I could set this for 50 pounds. And that's kind of what I used to do. I used to list stuff for the price that I wanted and I was quite happy to wait for it to sell. Eventually, as I saw it, the cheap stuff would sell, mine would be left and I'd be setting the higher price from there on, which I mean, did work. I have listed stuff for more than it's worth, more than it's sold for previously and people have bought it. Sometimes if you've got a good description, if you've got good feedback and if you've got really good photos, people will trust you more and therefore pay slightly more. But what I'm trying to do now because I have so much stuff is really look at what things are listed for and what things have sold for to get them out. Because I don't spend very much on things. So even if I'm making a little bit of money at the moment, I'm quite happy with that to just get it gone. I've learned something from it. I know not to buy it again and then I can buy something else. Where I might not be happy with only getting £6 for this or, or £10 for this vase, if that. I've learned not to get those things again and it's going to be sold rather than sitting on my shelves for years. Because I do have stuff upstairs that has been listed for two or three years. And I know that if you listen to Scavenger Life podcast, that's what they do. It's literally list it, forget it. They list it, they'll set the price that they want and they will leave it. And they've had stuff set, like sold after eight years of being listed. And they've got stuff still on their eBay store that they've had listed for eight years that's still not sold. <laughs> And that works for them. They have around 8,000 things in their store. So eventually stuff will sell. Um, but for me, I'm trying to be more realistic at the moment. <laughs> Which is hard because I do just live in a dreamland. And it would be great if you could just set the price that you want and it would sell. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Back to the stuff. Next is all oh, this gorgeous fish. It's beautiful. I paid two pounds. And that's a lot for me, as you'll know. But I love the brown glass and he's just so adorable. I believe he's hand blown. And it's just amazing that he hasn't broken all his little spindly bits. Um, Realistically, £15 for this. I'll list it at that and take some offers, even though it kills me because I would just love to keep him, but I need to stop keeping stuff. It's ridiculous. My house is ridiculous up is this adorable little prayer book i love old books it's my weakness in life i just love books in general and when i see the cute little old books i can't help it especially for 50 pence and this is a cambridge prayer book it's the ruby edition for obvious reasons someone's written in it when they were a child <laughs> for this realistically 10 pounds i'm going to list it at that it's 2.5 centimeters tall i might just get away with sending it as a large letter. Um, there is some listed for 18 to 20 pounds, but I think that's too much. I don't think they'll sell. Normally the little prayer books I've had have sold for around 10 pounds. So that's what I'll go for because we're being realistic. Next up, I say next up a lot as well. What else can I say? I'll just not say anything and just go place maths. <laughs> so these were three pounds. I just spotted them and I thought they looked really cool. I love this wood effect, it's really retro and I really like the, the paintings as well. They're like nautical themed artwork placemats, which is great. Ooh, nearly dropped them. Three pounds is a lot for me, but I think they're gorgeous. Realistically, 15 pounds. Um, I might just pop them on eBay for 17.50 or something and take offers, but I think they're gorgeous. And the Most Wanted DVDs. I did talk about that a little bit in my voiceover. Um, when I picked this up, I thought it was the whole series of season 8. Unfortunately, it's not. It's just episodes 13 to 15, which is a shame. This one is the complete series 11, which is good. This on its own would sell for about £7. This is probably not worth anything at all because it's only a few episodes. But what I'm going to do very much like what I do with the Harry Potter books is I might just keep buying them, save them up and sell them as a bundle. I think that's going to be the best way and the, the way that I can maximise the money that I get off them. 
because DVDs are so cheap now in the shops you can get about five for a pound and things like that so I'll just keep watching out for these save them up and bundle them out <clears throat> I'm going through a vintage linens phase it's really cute these are Swiss dancers I believe so it's probably a souvenir a vintage souvenir piece and I think it's probably for underneath a vase to protect your table I paid a pound for this I'll list it for ten but probably more realistically five that'll go in a large letter box which is great last things to show you finally <laughs> are these now these were in the cancer research shop which I don't normally go in because it's ridiculously priced but these were okay so I don't know who priced these they were obviously feeling generous <laughs> These were two pounds and the posters were a pound and I actually got two sets of each. So it cost me three pounds for a set. There's six face mats, six coasters, they're all in their original boxes. The boxes are a little bit tatty. But I don't think that's a bad buy. I should get 15 to 20 pounds per set. I'm going to list them at 20. told you that was the last thing I forgot then I bought some necklaces so these were a pound each I love this color my car is this color so that's probably why I bought it vintage it's just plastic beaded but I love the color it's kind of Egyptian it reminds me of Egyptian things I should get around 10 for that one and same for this one whoop beautiful it's got five strands a little hook clasp that's gorgeous I might list that at 15 beautiful for a pound I'll add that to my drawer of jewelry that I haven't listed yet <laughs> but um yeah overall it was a good day out I bought too much as I said at the start but it'll keep me busy, keep me out of trouble. I had to go to the car boot yesterday, so I will be putting that video out soon. I've also got all that jewellery I told you about now. I've actually sold quite a lot of jewellery this week on Etsy, so that's really pushed me to get it listed. So I will at some point do a video showing you my ridiculous backlog of jewellery. And um, yeah, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything you would like to rehome, Sleepy Furby, for example. <laughs> if there's anything you fancy, just give me a message. I have my Instagram down below and my Etsy store, so you can just message me on either. And we can sort something out if you have a hoarding problem like me. Okay, <laughs> see you next time. Bye.